Hi everybody, my name is Paige Ozma Ashmore. I am the creator of Tarot of the Kingdoms, which was published by Red Feather in 2020. And I'm also the illustrator of a children's book called Ela, written by Ann Sullivan. And our book won the 2022 Gold Winner Award for Nautilus for Best in Children's Books, so yay for that. And you can check both of those products out on Amazon, or you can go directly to Shiver Books for the Tarot Deck, or you can go to Infinite Light Publishing for Ela. And today what I would like to do is I would like to do a card of the week. So that would be starting today from Wednesday until Sunday. The card is from my deck, and this is the card. It is the Ten of Air. Now, if any of you are into tarot, then what you will be aware of is that I switched the suits. So in my deck, swords would equate to fire because I was initiated into the craft. And in our particular tradition, we do reverse those suits because we attribute swords with action and we attribute wands with inspiration and new ideas. And those are qualities that show up in the east direction. So that's why I did that for those of you that are curious. Um, this card is all about renewed hope. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk about the ultimate of what a suit means. So the ultimate of the suit attributed to the kingdom of the fairies and wands would be the ultimate of what a wand does. And what a wand does is a wand manifests. So what this particular card is sharing is that if you've had a lot of crap happen this week, and certainly with the news, there is a lot going on. There is potential for change happening with this card. There is also potential for hope, for renewed hope, for renewed guidance. So my encouragement for you is to take what you're dealing with in life right now and how can you invite spiritual alchemical gold into it? How can you take what you have and turn it into gold? If any of you are into fairy tales and you're familiar with the fairy tale of Rumpelstiltskin, that's what happens in the story. The dwarf comes and he takes the straw and he spins it into gold. So how can you spin what you are dealing with right now into gold? And I'm going to give you a little help with that. So I want you to think about what you're dealing with right now. And I want you to visualize that as straw. Visualize it as straw. Like imagine you've got a big pile of straw in front of you and just implant in that straw all of the things you're dealing with. It could be physical things you're dealing with. It could be your fears and worries, whatever that is. And then you are going to act in the role of the dwarf and you're going to spin that into gold. So you're going to transform that situation. Now you can do this as a visualization. You can visualize it in your head as changing straw to gold or a more powerful way to do that is through movement. So you could either dance it out, you could do like a spinning motion as you're thinking about changing it into gold and just kind of dance around your room, maybe put your favorite song that just really speaks to you and dance to that for a few minutes and just transform that energy into something positive and something beautiful and something that you can use. So those are two ways of doing it. Now, if you have any mobility issues, let's say that you don't have the ability to dance, then you can do dancing with your eyes. You can blink your eyes or roll your eyes or move your eyes from one way to the other. There are forms of dance throughout the world where they dance with the eyes. The eyes are a significant part of that movement. You could also dance with your mouth, maybe moving your mouth in a way, or again, you could just visualize it. But that is my guidance for the week. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful week and stay safe out there.